all right you beautiful peoples of the interweb so this is just a updated video on my previous let me just turn my ring light on there a little bit more light a little bit light an updated video on my screen matching your different screens um, for different resolution sizes and how to get it all nice and neat and tidy so what do i mean well let me just get rid of my ugly mug here okay so we're on the desktop here. i've got a lovely big arrow so you can follow along nicely and all I'm going to do at the minute is just right click my mouse. Right click your mouse, it brings up this. Now this is Windows 11, Windows 10 very similar. Display settings, so we're going to left click on that and it'll bring up the screen. Now you can see number three here, just would need to ignore that. Essentially that's where I'm copying OBS. But these are the screens we're going to concentrate on. So two, that's, number, that's a 1440p monitor, I'm going to show you this there. 1440p 2560 by 1440 it's the last number that gives you the resolution or the way we call a resolution last number there 1080 so that's a 1080p that's monitor one and monitor four 2160 ironically they call this a 4k monitor but that's a 4k okay so we've got 1440p 1080p and 4k right so I'm just going to change screen now because I'm going to show you exactly how that looks. So let me just get rid of this. And as you can see, this picture in the background does not match up. And when I scroll my arrow, you can see it's jumping about all over the place. If I grab um, a file or a folder, you can see it just moves up to the top. It changes sizes. And it's just, let me just say, it's a bit of a mess. So... This causes a lot of people a lot of confusion is how do I now balance all these monitors? Okay, so I need to go back to this screen here. And what we need to do now, for, well, actually, scrap that. First thing is, is can you change the display settings within Windows itself? So say this TV here, which is number four. Now that's the 4K TV. If I click on that, I can actually select it from here so i can put that down to a 1440p monitor and then that would match the output of my main monitor which on here um, i'm not going to mess about with it a minute will be number two so that would change four to the same size as two so that would be that solution so that's essentially that's a downscale easy enough to do but of course the tricky one is number one because if i click on number one this is a 1080p monitor there's no 1440p solution here so how do we go about that right it's quite simple well sort of simple you don't need programming language you just need to follow the guide so first thing we need to do is go down here bring up this box ignore most of this um obviously i've got my obs running but we're looking for the video settings now most people i always right click on it because it'll bring up two boxes one is your geforce experience forget about that in a minute the next is your NVIDIA control panel. Now, this is obviously for NVIDIA GPUs. Now, if you're running AMD GPUs or um, Intel, I haven't got a solution um, because I don't have those GPUs at hand. But anyway, NVIDIA. So we're clicking on the NVIDIA control panel. And where it comes up, it, for some reason, it's running very slow on my computer. So it brings you up to this screen. Let's make this full screen for you guys. So it's full screen now, and you can see it's nice and clear. I've got a lovely big arrow. So up here, you can see here, I know it's very small, but it's the first one under display says change resolution. So we're going to click on that. Click on that. Wait for it to change. And as you can see, it's bringing up all my different monitors. Again, we're ignoring uh, this one the lc27 that's the one i've got my obs on so essentially the ben q that's my 1440p the dell is a 1080p and the end there's a samsung that's the big television at the end the 4k tv so the one that's really tricky to change is the 1080p because essentially we've got to upscale that 1080p so we click on it now it's 144 hertz yeah that's fine but if we have a look at the resolutions 1080p maximum we're going to go through there, but there's never a 1440p resolution to choose. Essentially, we seem to be locked out of choosing a 1440p solution. But there is there is a solution, and it's this button here, Customize. 
So we hit customize and then we do enable resolutions not exposed by the display. So we're going to do that. Okay. Back to customize again. Create custom resolution as a beard. So let me just run that for you again. So first of all, right. So let me just run through that again. So I might've gone a little bit too quick. So again, we go into this customize button. Now nothing's come up here yet, but we need to enable this. So it's a bit of a funny way they do it. You've got to click this. Now, once you click that button, you can create a custom resolution button becomes available down here. So we click that. Now you're thinking, oh, this looks a bit complicated, this screen, doesn't it? And, it, and it's not really, you just need to know the numbers. So horizontal, and if you don't know the numbers, it's quite simple to find, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So we're going to go in here and it's 2560. That's your horizontal pixels. There's nothing else you need to check by 1440. 1440. Oh, I'll double check that. Went a little bit high then. We don't want to do that. And now we can test it. So we're going to test it. Now OBS might go off on my screen. Let's come back. That's good. Test was successful. Custom resolution 1440p at 404 has been applied. Do you want to save this? So we're going to say yes. And now we can close this down. Just wait. Uh, right. The unfortunate thing is it all crashes when I do this. But if we have a look now, you see, oh, it hasn't gone to 1440p. We've changed the resolution. Now, this is the very important step that people miss. You've got to go back to customize. Now you've got to select that custom resolution. And now you've got to press OK. Now, if we look, did you see that? I scrolled this. This is what it's on now. Scrolled up. There's my custom resolution. Click that and apply. Now, again, my OBS may crash again. We're keeping the resolutions. OK, so let's um, wait for this to finish. There we are. So we're now on a 1440p resolution on the Dell. So it's the 1080p monitor. And let me just show you this on my screen and cam. And I will need to adjust these because this is why it crashes on OBS. It's because essentially it changes the size of the boxes. But if we have a look now, oh, I've got a little bit of lag there. Notice how the horizons now match up on this picture. And it's starting, this picture is starting to come together. So obviously the last one now is the big 4K screen. But there's something else I want to show you. So uh, let me just go back to this screen. Now, right click. Sometimes this doesn't work uh, for some people. And what you then need to do is right click on your display settings. Because sometimes Windows takes control. And you can see here, oh, it's done it now. It's actually adjusted. But sometimes you need to ch check the 1080p window, come down here, and then that custom resolution will now be selectable. Remember before the 1080, it only went as high as 1080. Well, look, 1440p is now a selectable resolution there. So um, let me just close that screen. So the final um, part of this now, is the 4K screen. I'm going to essentially knock the 4K screen down to 1440p. Um, this particular monitor, this Samsung, will do 1440p at 120 hertz. It won't do 4K at 120 hertz. It only does 4K 60. So um, again, we're going to bring up, uh, we're going to bring up this web cage here, and you can all most of it can be done from the one screen. Bring up my display settings and we're going to go over to the 4K monitor. Now, because we're down sampling, we shouldn't really need to use the NVIDIA um, to do this. So we're going to down sample this now to 1440p. So again, 2560 by 1440. So please click that. Here you go all the screens. Now I may OBS may, may crash and so we're going to keep changes. Hopefully OBS doesn't crash. Right, that seems to have done its trick. Now, when I check my screen and cam, it's going to change the size of the... F yes, okay, let me just adjust. Oh, I don't want to do it like that, that's it. 
if I bring that to about the same size. So that's how all my TVs, and you can see now the panoramic is all matching. And just to prove this, I'm going to run the arrow across all three as straight as I can. And as you can see, you can almost not even tell where there's a line or a drop. So essentially, because remember, this is all three TVs uh, showing on here. So essentially, that's how you now set up. So you can scroll from one screen to the other. So if I grab this file, it's not jittering about. It's not jumping from the top to the bottom as it normally does. It just gently smooths all the way across. My panoramics all look good from my vantage point or the angle I'm watching at. In fact, I can show you that. Hold on. If I just go to webcam, um, forgive me. Right, there we are. We're back. I'm just going to grab the webcam. It's quite tricky. But if we just show you the screens now, a bit tricky, I know. But you can see there's the big arrow and it goes from one. I know they look like different colours. It's because the angle uh, It's TA panels, isn't it? What, this one's actually a HDR monitor. Um, and you can see then how it's going from one. And then there's the t big TV that's across the room. But again, if I follow the horizon, it comes out where the thing is. I know that looks a bit jangy, but normally I have three monitors like this one. It's a bit hard to do it on a webcam. One monitor, two monitors, three monitors. I might take a photo of it so you can see it a bit better. Right, let's get rid of that a minute. Right, so essentially that's how you do it. Now, there is some other things I need to explain before we go away. So you might think, oh, great, you explained everything. Let's go. So one of those things is... Uh, it's something I explained earlier, but I'm doing this from a... So I'm fiddling with my camera. Oh, let's just put it there for now. Right, let me bring back the camera. So I'm, I'm just holding the webcam. I know it's a bit weird, but I can't, I can't actually get it behind the TV. Right, so there's something I need to explain. So obviously this is using a NVIDIA GPU. So I'm using display ports out and HDMI. I'm using every port on my particular GPU. Now, the reason I'm having to use a GPU to do this is because I haven't got graphics out on my CPU. So I think the new Ryzen's have, but Ryzen 3000, 2000, 1000 series, you have to have a GPU to get display out. It's a graphics card. Now, Intel's have inbuilt um, graphic outs on the motherboards, so you can actually plug into your motherboard, but you can't do that using this method. Um, and unfortunately, I don't have Intel CPU or an Intel PC to try and f make a fix for you. And I also don't have the solution for an AMD. I believe there are something similar what the way I've just described to you now. So the downscaling will work because that's basically doing it for Windows. So let me just get rid of my mug here. So, of course, right click, display settings, and we can downscale any of these like this fourth. 4K TVs downscale. You can do that from within whale, uh, within Windows. But the upscaling method, which I've used from the NVIDIA control panel, now I believe that AMD have a version of that, and also Intel, I believe, have a version of that. Um, if anyone knows or anyone... Um, Essentially, if any one of those companies or a company wants me to do a video on how to do that on theirs, they'll have to send me an AMD CPU, uh, GPU or an AMD um, graphics card. I don't want an expensive graphics card if anyone can send me one. Um, and if it's a self-addressed envelope, I'll send the thing back once I've done the video. Simple as that. I don't want to keep the card. I just need two separate different company cards to make for this video because these are very popular videos. Um, and that's basically all I have to say now. I think I think we've gone through most of it. I think, uh, yeah. So I've been Glenn Cheapskate Gaming. Sorry about the handy cam that I'm holding. Um, and this is the solution. Hopefully, this one turns out better than my last one. The last one I just filmed it with with the webcam. Um, this one I'm using OBS, and again, it crashes a little bit, so I'll have to do a couple of edits. But hopefully, I've gone over it, and I've gone over some of the problems that you can come across. So obviously. Let me recap. I like to do a recap. So you need to use your GPU for this method using a NVIDIA. 
So all my cables, I don't think my camera's, no, my camera's not long enough to stretch behind my BC to show you, but a classic mistake people keep saying is, oh, I can't get to do anything. I can't change anything. Essentially, they've got the HDMI out from their monitor, from their motherboard. Um, no, you need to be plugged into your GPU. Um, so all your monitors. The other classic area you can come across is if you're upscaling using the wrong HDMI cable. Now, all my cables, even though these are only 1440p monitors and even a 1080p monitor, I've actually got 2.1 HDMI cables, essentially 8K cables plugged into all my monitors. Essentially, I, I, I just eliminated that out of the picture. That, that is something that needs to be eliminated out. So, um, because some old HDMI cables are only, will only pass a 1080p signal um 1.4s then you need 2.0s which is fine for 1440p it's fine for 4k 60 and then you've got 2.1s which is 4k 120 8k 60 but just go with the higher hdmi cables because they're backwards compatible it's like usb sticks isn't it better to buy a usb free stick um, and use it in a usb 2 port than to buy a usb 1 stick and try and use it in a usb 3 port because you just does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. I'm just making things complicated. Anyway, get good HDMI cables, highest grade, you can, highest value. They're not expensive. Amazon do them very good, you know, do a pack of three. They're quite reasonable. So there's no need to go banging on. Oh, it's really expensive. I got upgrade. No, you're talking 10 quid for a pack of three half decent HDMI 2.1 cables. It's not that expensive. And it just eliminates. Um, that out the question um but for me anyway i've actually got display ports on three of the monitors and the hdmi goes to the tv um and that's what you'll find on the back of modern gpus is there's three i think my one has three display ports one hdmi so that is what i'm using three displays and one hdmi so obviously remember that it doesn't matter if you mix hdmi display ports in in the mix as you can see the 4k tv downscaled fine from the hdmi now some people have been saying can you upscale um the 4040p to 4k and keep the high refresh rate so we're going to go and try that because that's not something i've done so let's get rid of my mug okay so we're back on the screen and essentially what we're going to do is i think we'll take my main screen here which the arrow is on and we'll see if we can bang that up to 4k so first thing we're going to try and do it through um i think i'm gonna have problems here because i think this is a 4k compatible but screen but let me have a look display settings uh number two is the main screen and let's have a look at display resolution uh yeah well that's the problem here is that this screen is actually 4k compatible although it's not a 4k screen um so ignore that we're going to go balls to the wall and we're going to do the 1080p screen which is the one next to it so again display settings and we won't be able to do it through here but it's screen number one this is the 1080p screen and it's the one we created the custom resolution on so we've got 1440p okay so again we're going to go through this bring up the resolution um resolution bring up this icon here and right click on your nvidia control panel so we're going back to that going to bring that up and essentially what we're going to do now is create a custom resolution of 4k and now this is where glenn has to remember what 4k is like numbers um why isn't my nvidia panel coming up all right for some reason my oh i think oh that's because it's already open silly me there's already down here at the bottom so the dell so again we look we're on 44 140 we're going to customize it we're going to create custom let me just double check a minute um 4k i need to I'm basically checking what 4k is. i'm so used to doing 1440p 4096 by 2160 so we need to remember those numbers customize okay 
So instead here we're now doing 4096. By I think it's 2160, wasn't it? 2160. Oh, and of course there's a hoover in the background. So I'm going to have to do this all again. Fuck's sake. Right, okay, hopefully you can hear me. So, one of the questions I got asked on my older video of these was, can I, if I have a 4K TV, like what's over there, can I then upscale all my monitors to run at 4K and a high refresh rate? So that's what we're going to try now. Um, I'm not 100% sure on the answer because I haven't done it. Um, and if I just take my camera away here of me, you can see that messing about with all these screens messes about with your um your desktop layout sometimes just just part and parcel but uh if we go to what we've got now so essentially everything's set at 1440p now as you can see lovely it's all blending in this is a lovely um panorama that's set across one two three it's actually set across four but we're just doing three screens here so essentially i'm going to put this tv where the um the arrows turning around i'm going to put that back to 4k and then this 1080p tv uh, monitor i'm going to upscale that from 1440p up to 4k well it's actually going from 1080p all the way up to 4k so that's what we're going to try we won't worry about the main desktop we'll just see if it's proof of um proof of concepts they call it so let's see if we can get these two so let's go back to my uh main screen here so first thing i need to do is right click on my mouse and we're going to bring up the uh, display settings again and we're going to go over to the television the monitor 4 scroll down and we can see here that it's been set to um, 1440p we're going to put that back up to the recommended 4k 3840 2160 that's what that 4k monitor is so uh, it's in the middle of doing that now we're going to keep the changes uh, and we'll I'll show you what that looks like now. So we've got a screen and cam. And as you can see there, this monitor's changed in size. So first thing I'm going to do is try and get it back to this size. And as you can see, but nothing matches up there anymore. So and as you can see as the arrow goes from one to the other, it's jumping about. So that's a 4K monitor. Now this is set at 1440p. So now the next thing we're going to do is go back to this screen so we can close this down this is the window setting the next bit will have to be done from the nvidia part of things now normally you'd right click here but i've got mine open already so we're just going to open back up the nvidia settings i'll make this full screen and we go over to my 1080p t which is the dell one now as you can see i've got a custom resolution running on it at the moment so of course what we have to do now is run a new custom rev resolution so let's just check now i believe it's 4096 by 2160 uh, and the easy way of checking that is check on the 4k tv well i could go 3840 by 2160 but i'll do a proper 4k 4096 by 2160 so we go back to the dell tv down here to your customize button and i'm basically going to repeat what we did before enable make sure this is ticked i'm going to create a custom resolution now we're going to go in here first one on this side is so i don't want to shout into the mic it's just because i'm leaning forward 4096 and then the lower number will be there which will be 2160 now we're going to test it this is where things could go wrong so it's not supported so there we are so we can't test that particular display and it's given us a a bit of a warning everything's going a little bit crazy um so we're gonna close that down so essentially we couldn't get that one to work will it appear you never know it might appear ah okay so look the refresh rate was set on 144 hertz so we are going to see can we get it running at 60 hertz maybe let's cancel that 
So we'll go back to create custom resolution. Um, hmm. I'm going to, ah, here we go. Re refresh rate. So I'm going to drop that down to 60. Okay. And now we're going to do this again. 4096. Nine six by twenty one sixty. Yeah, that, that's right. Yeah, and we're going to test that. Right, we're back. Well, what happens is, is when all the resolutions change, my OBS crashes. It messes about. But we're back, and essentially, we've now got. If we look at the Dell screen here. Still saying 1080p on here, isn't it? Still saying 1080p. Right, 1080p native. Customize. So again, so again. Let me stop recording. Right, hopefully it's back to recording. So essentially when I tried the um turning the Dell into a 4K monitor. It completely crashed the system. My system took about five minutes, 10 minutes to even get a screen back on. And then OBS completely crashed. Um, I was quite worried at one point. So my advice is don't go too high from a 1080 up to a 4K. Go from 1080 to 1440p, 1440p fine. 1440p to 4K should be fine. But don't go like too much in parameters. So my advice is with me it works fine use 1440p as your base level um, and, and that way so I, I still need to change one of the monitors back so if we just go to um, we don't need to use this anymore essentially the Dell is running upscale to 1440p the BenQ is 1440p running at four, um, 144 hertz that's running at 144 hertz the samsung's only running at 60 because it's at native 4k but we're not going to do it from this screen here um we're going to close that down we're going to right click display settings click on the the 4k screen and we're going to basically do it from in here 25 60 by 1440 and hopefully that way it won't mess about with the screens too much Yes, OBS did go to a black screen for a minute, but it's not going to be serious. Um, right, that's done. And if I just show you now on here, let's resize this roughly as close as I can get it. And as you can see there, they're all together now. All the screens are back to as it was um, and the panorama is as it should be. So uh, let me get my webcam. So basically don't try to push the system too hard so 1080 to 1440p should be fine um the quality of monitor could be affected so if you've got one of those 75 quid 80 quid cheapo monitors might not work but if you've got like i've got this dell i paid 120 130 quid for that thing um the samson's a uh, samson monitor monitor which i have well, i've been using for the obs that was a 200 pound monitor ish 200 sometimes a bit higher sometimes a bit lower the benq is about 200 pound there native 1440p monitors uh the tally is an expensive tally but you know this could you could make it work as long as it's for me that i know that the tally is 1440p compatible a lot of modern 2.1 hertz 2.1 hdmi tvs are 1440p compatible if you've got an old um let's say an old higher sense high sense tv or jvc or something like that it might not work samsung qleds from 2018 um are 1440p compatible i'm not sure about some of the older lgs or older sony some of the sony tvs is a no-no for 1440p they never supported it um, and the way to find out if your tv supports 1440p is to go to a website called artings um, in fact why don't i just bring artings up on the on the thing here 
let me just uh, bring this up and type in R T I N G S. And we go in here and you can go your TV reviews. And from inside here, you can literally find any television. Um, if you look at the reviews, look, they've literally got thousands of TV reviews. Um, yeah, I think you just type in which one. But for instance, now you want to know, there's a Samsung QLED there. These are all the modern TVs. They have got a lot of the older ones. Um, you can go for brands. Look, uh, brands. Um, TCL. Let's try a TCL TV. A lot of time the British ones and American ones don't work very well. Um, anyway, you can find your own way around that website. That's not for me to show you how to use the Artings website, but I use it as a tool for information regarding uh, the capability of a television if I'm going to buy a TV or a TV I, I bought or, or I need to find out or someone asks me a question. So essentially... I would stick with the 1440p and to be fair the 4k tv there looks fine at 1440p i'm looking at it nine now beautiful great picture um and for me i there's less of a difference between 1440p and 4k than there is between 1080p and 1440p you can see the difference between 1440p just looks so much sharper than 1080p but 4K doesn't look so much sharper than 4040p. 4040p is the sweet spot spot for human eyes. Just simple as that. It is the sweet spot. It doesn't matter if you're sitting close to a monitor or sitting six foot away from a four, big 65 inch TV. It's the sweet spot. So the, all this big hype about it doesn't run at 4K console and all that. Don't, don't get pulled into that basically BS hype. 1440p is the sweet sweet spot and you'll have to just trust me on that from many many years of service in uh both tv industry and, and and just messing about with televisions over the years um you can't get better i mean well that's it it is it is it is what it is it's a fact 1440p is the sweet spot 8k waste of time 4k it's nice it's good but it's not it's not the be all or end all like you go and play a video on your 4k tv from youtube and change it between 1440p and 4k and then jump up and down if you can actually spot a difference maybe on a static oh, sorry maybe on a static test screen where you've got vertical lines very close together you know and a calibration type thing scenario yes but if you're watching the latest uh, superhero movie or playing Halo or Apex Legends or any other video game you can name, you're not going to notice it. Literally, you will not physically. You're just not. Your eyes aren't that good. The human brain isn't that much of a processor visually to process those amount of pixels. The one thing you will notice, though, is frequency frame rate that's one thing the human brain's very good at picking up um you'll definitely notice the difference between well, 30 and 60 huge difference 60 120 another bit of a difference of 60 144 and 60 240 those are the things your brain does pick up on but again there's diminishing returns even after that um you know it's like when i move this if i uh, get rid of my ugly mug again i move that now Unfortunately, OBS isn't picking this up, but that's it's picking up a 60 hertz picture of it. But on my monitor, it's actually moving a lot smoother than that. I'm seeing a lot less refresh rates. And if I had a 240, it would look even smoother. Anyway, this video has been way, way too long, um, but that's the way it's going to be. There's a short end, a short version and a quick version, a long version and an explanative explaining version. Um, and I prefer to do the explaining. Yes, I don't have the charisma, the personality of people like Linus Tech Tips or Jay-Z Ten Cents or whatever he's called. But at least I've got some of the know-how of these guys. Um, and I'd like to explain it properly. So uh, let me put this back on just so I can say goodbye. So this has been Glenn, Cheapskate Gaming News Tech Reviews. And this is how to be, how to sort out 
your monitors, uh, different resolutions, different frame rates, and basically get them all running uh, the same so you can do that. So you can get a nice picture all the way through them. And again, 1440p, 1080p, 4K. I've got them all downscaled to 1440, upscaled to 1440, native 1440, all running at 100. Well, that one's running at 120. This, these two are running at 144 hertz. So if this helped you, all I ask for is a like. That's all I ask. Just like to um, basically push the video along the algorithm so other people can get the help they need. Because a lot of people have, have had this problem. My last one of these videos got 60,000 views. Um, and don't forget, I'm a channel with less than 500 subscribers. Uh, and most of them when i wrote the video i think i had less than 100 subscribers and most of the, my subscribers came from one video so i just wanted to put i think i'll put one of these out every new year so i'll put a new one out in 2024 hopefully by then maybe maybe i'll be big enough maybe i might have picked up a few more subscribers and someone like intel or amd will send me one of their low-end graphics cards that i could do a similar video and cover their um their graphics cards and their uh, resolutions and screens as well. But anyway, this has been Glyn, Cheapskate. I'm going to shoot off.